Published 919 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 20th of July 2018. Updated 1134 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 20th of July 2018. After a lengthy wait, Vinicius Jr. was finally unveiled as a Real Madrid player on Friday. The 18-year-old, who is usually deployed on the left wing but can also play on the opposite flank or up front, signed for Real in May 2017 for 45 million euros, 38 million pounds, the highest amount ever paid for a player under the age of 19. However, he couldn't officially link up with Real until this summer and continued playing for Flamengo last season. Vinicius Jr. was unveiled as a Real Madrid player after officially completing his move. Real supporters will hope the wait was worth it and it will be intriguing to see what impact Vinicius Jr. can make during his first season in Spain. It was a memorable day for the youngster as he stepped out onto the Bermabu pitch and was greeted by his compatriot and club legend Ronaldo, who scored 104 goals in 177 games. For real between 2002 and 2007, a very skillful player, Vinicius Jr. scored six goals and provided three assists across the 17 appearances that he made for Flamengo in the 2018 campaign. The Brazilian prospect agreed to join Real last year but the deal has only now been finalized Serie A 12 games, 4 goals, 3 assists Libertadores, 5 games, 2 goals total 17 games, 6 goals, 3 assists Real. Signed left back Alvaro Odriozola and also secured a deal for young goalkeeper Andre Lunin, but it is anticipated that there will be some more high profile arrivals, especially following the departure of Cristiano Ronaldo to Juventus. In May, Real won the Champions League for the third season in succession, but they finished in third place in La Liga, 17 points adrift of champions Barcelona. Vinicius Jr. left poses for a picture with Ronaldo, who was a huge success at Real Madrid and his skills were slightly better Hernandez's. As with all new Madrid signings, Vinicius was required to show off his skills by doing a few kickups out on the pitch. And let's just say things went better than they did for French fullback Theo Hernandez last summer. You can forgot the left back's horror show during his own presentation, as he looked totally incapable of keeping the ball under control, the nerves clearly getting the better of him. There were no such problems for Vinicius, who was a picture of comfort as he kept the ball in the air with a number of different parts of his body.